From Turning Stone Resort in upstate New York, this is Poker Night in America. Welcome to Poker Night in America. I'm your host, Chris Hansen. Once again, we find ourselves at Turning Stone Resort, and we left no stone unturned in our search to turn up stone cold players that have the stones to take their turn at tonight's table. Let's turn our attention to flops, turns, and rivers, turning up just a stone's throw away. All right, are we done letting the interns write the scripts yet or not? Starting out day three, here's what the players are buying in for. Our game is a $5,000 minimum and a $20,000 maximum. Both Sean Deeb and Phil Locke taking advantage of buying in for the max. No, I, I, no not, not that I don't love the dealers. That's too much brain power. I think we had a good system yesterday. Whatever we did yesterday is what I'm good with today. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> also, also, you have to start Twan's car for him. Bring it around. But, here, he but I do love the dealers. There you go, Twan. That's for me being a cheap. <laughs> Joe DeGeorge raises with six, seven of diamonds. Deeb calls with a suit of ace. hundred and saying, that's for me being cheap. You're kind of calling a man. Wait, you play hands? And Frankenberger also calls. It's a little different with Antonio, Antonio sitting there. Why are you guys so afraid of Antonio? Antonio wrote him hard just, and put him away wet. He didn't put me away so much. I, I did okay. Yeah. No, you, but, you uh, held your own, but it. Yeah, all day it was a little, <laughs> a little annoying. Wow. Deeb has the nut flush draw. Been, been, he would have uh, well, he he ten. could have picked a queen or an ace. There's five cards he could have picked. Or no, ace is one. Yeah, yeah. Ace it would have been good. like three to one. Wow, that's a. Yeah. He bets three fifty. That gets rid of Frankenberger. George raises to 950. Call from Deeb. Turns a deuce. So is that who pays the tip now, too? Yeah. Movies yesterday is a good one. In the background, making the comment. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? You are the dealer. I, I will check. That's fantastic. Both players I won't check. I his 50. <laughs> if you could, though, you might bet. So Here comes the river. Five of hearts, so Deeb now has the nut flush. <laughs> Everyone go out last night? There's some more silence than we had. A couple of words flying anyway. through Sean Deeb's <laughs> head <laughs> right now. They are how much, Again. how much, Again. how much, Bars how much, here. how much <laughs> he should be raising. How long did uh, Antonio and you guys hang out at the bar for? He didn't stay long. Raised to 4750. 47, 50, 47, we were too tired. And a very quick fold from DeGeorge. Now, if I'm him, I'd probably slow it down there and at least make it look like I had a tough decision. Giving that kind of information to Sean Deeb, arguably one of the most aggressive players at this table. Oh, good kid. Oh, boy. You better watch out for the rest of his game. And the guy with Kings kept flatting quad things. Like, well, what can he have? Who won the half? The guy with quad Probably quad Kings. He held up. Who had? Brian Trader from New York. I think. Who lost the half? Antonio Solero, player Good. construction. Fantastic, thank you. Do we want shots? Too early, right? Never too early for five shots. Five o'clock. Okay, five o'clock. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna. Because we started at like four. It's, yeah, I was like, right. that's every, oh wait, that's only like in 30 minutes. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna, um, oh, all right, that's a better shot. Five o'clock. Yeah! Love and heart. Wrong color. I, whoever wants a water, do not give it to me. Did you give a tip? I'll take one, thank you. I did. Thank you. He's gotten re-raised from Jennifer Tilly. Whoever wants the water is not loud or water. With pocket aces. This is a drinking sport. <laughs> this isn't a sport, because we're considered <laughs> members of this sport, and we're not athletes of any kind. Drinking. Um, did you not see the network we're appearing on? We're all athletes at this table. There's oh, a banner. Of sports, I'm, yeah. the Mexico curtain on it. I'm just, I, I, think, I think I'm a world-class drinker. We are all athletes on CBS Sports today. Maybe in a year from now. So Locke will fold. I might be able to win an eating contest. To George Folds. No. Which is also a sport on no? ESPN. Absolutely. Gavin will take you down with marshmallows. The most marshmallows you can put in your mouth. That was good. That was a good bet. Chubby Bunny is a great bet. <laughs> Game. That was a good bet, though. So I was, I, I, it was hard to do. What would you do, like 15? 15. Yeah. That was, yeah. Oh, that'd be a closer peak. Those cheeks. I could not have done 16. He had to put a new one in his mouth every 10 seconds, and at the end, his lips had to be pursed, touching, both oh. top and bottom. 
He couldn't swallow. He could let the juices yeah. go into his <laughs> esophagus. esophagus. <laughs> that was, he wasn't allowed he to swallow. He couldn't swallow. How do you? How do you? You uh, have to fit the mar marshmallows yeah, or start to digest it. Yeah, in your mouth. Yeah. He's allowed to swallow the juices. How do you not regulate to, not swallowing? That's well, you 2000. Can, you, you should learn. You can when swallow the, just the juices. More importantly, what are the emergency yeah. procedures in place if he does swallow? <laughs> we didn't have any. We didn't have any. We were at the Bellagio. We're just kidding. I called. But it, hope you had a sharp straw. Like five people hand. jumped in on that bed. But it's one of the great things. You probably got me, Jennifer. I only have a. I just have a tin. Oh, that's what I like to hear. You probably got me. Well, I'm gonna rebuy if I lose this, anyways. I need a ten or a jack. Oh, wow. I think a tenor jack's probably gonna come. I like it. I, I mean, I felt good about this hand for some reason before the fall. Oh, when you called 1100? Yeah, I felt really good about this hand. I'm in trouble. I'm in, I'm in trouble. I need a 10, yeah. So Jack, no good. Jack is not good here. Thank you, Gavin. Wow, look at that. Three on the river, and Jennifer Tilly gets hand, maximum hand. value out of Matt Russell. Okay, I'm gonna rebuy. Emptying his pockets, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I have a feeling there's uh, plenty more where that stack came from. Are you gonna run out of room? Yeah, I'll be right back. More from Turning Stone Resort in upstate New York when we return. Poker Night in America is being brought to you by 888poker.com, where the world plays online. Welcome back to Poker Night in America. I'm Chris Hansen. Let's get back to the table. Please. Okay, I, I, I respect forgot that, but please don't pull out the 100 in the middle of the hand. Oh, everyone knows You were winning. So, as soon as you gave the speech, I pulled it you out. You're allowed to do that. If <laughs> really? anyone raises, you're allowed to be like, You're allowed to do that. Yeah. Actually, of course. Helps get the I'm actually going to steal the 100 off people's stack when I have it. It's right, really right. going to love it. Doug Maverick gets involved with seven deuce. There is a seven deuce prop bet that is being played at this table. So anyways, I'll tell you guys what I do, and then you won't, then you'll never forget me. Fair enough. Okay. We're looking for um, a male Ooh. No, That doesn't pay well. It doesn't, doesn't pay well. Maybe But anyways. Uh, no, it doesn't pay well for me either. No, the company I founded uh, collects used clothing, uh -huh. and we ship it to over 43 different countries. Oh, wow, that's awesome. amazing. So we ship about 85 million garments a year. Wow, Sounds that's like fantastic. Right. So, Wow, I didn't know there would be a lot of money in that. <laughs> Phil knew a guy, he called him Joe Onions. He was a multimillionaire from selling onions to the McDonald's. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Flop is King yeah, High, which hits contract. Roper. He's got yeah. a pair of kings. McDonald's, but Taco Bell, a bunch of other ones. Maverick game. bets 300. Said, I'm going to beat the onion game the following way. I'm going to charge everyone 10% more, but every onion they get from me, right down to the bottom corner one in the, any box, will be a perfect onion. I will sell perfect, every onion will be so delivered perfect. I don't see how and you before that, you paid, you paid the regular price, you always oh, had one to eight percent onion wastage, like, and he just decided, I am gonna be known as the gold there. standard. And he just all be perfect. Perfect worked onion. on that, and that was his Ten percent is a small price to pay for a perfect per onion. Perfect box of onions, or perfect, Crates of onions. Can we get the same onions? He became the guy. How quickly could we get a crate of onions here right now? Just to two hours. To see if they were <laughs> oh, from him? If we got them from Joe Onions, probably overnight. I don't know. Mm, so, how long onions. would it take you to become a better producer of onions than Joe Onion? It's I'm never going to pursue Oh, come that. on. A man who can okay. kill a million, so what, what people, vegetable, million people and get away with it. Phil, what vegetable would be yours? Because I don't I have to be produce it. better onions. The other case, I, ha I have to have like the villain has the uh, antidote and I'm gonna die without it. That's yeah. the yes, right. right. So that's that's scenario, that's the scenario can, right. oh, how you long? have to create better onions by the case than Joe Onion. Well I, I just have to take you over Joe Onion's, Joe Onions business and make him one percent. Those were the same onions, it didn't matter. So we should call you Joe used clothing. How about that? Joe Close. It's not very well It's not very sexy. Oh, you don't call me Joe D. Okay, Joe no. D. Well, we've got to give everyone different Joe D. D for disposable. D. You know, Team Meister yesterday was called the Anto clothing. calling Antonio. And here comes the bet. It is 2,700. <laughs> I think that should be his new nickname. And it looks like Roper's ready to give it up. What happened? I don't even know what's going on. I don't know what's happening. I'm offering a buy on. Uh, 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 I, I give you that. Here we go. Here you go. Only Jennifer Thanks. Tilly took advantage of the discount. Yeah. yeah. Everybody else is shipping over uh, another hundred bucks. Yay! And perfectly flayed. Seven deuce. I should have shown a seven. That was the biggest mistake. I turn over a card, which is a deuce, offer insurance. Jennifer Tilly snap takes the insurance, which she's been doing everything right today. And I make $50 less for an overs. <laughs> I started out uh, playing music in Cleveland mostly. And uh, I moved out to LA to pursue a music career. 
and found Commerce Casino along the way. Of course, I wanted to be a rock star, hence like the hair that stays like this. I love music, I love writing songs, I love inspiring like emotion in people. I actually went to audition for American Idol. I saw like a 12 year old belt out some Whitney Houston song and I figured they, they weren't gonna be too much uh, interested in me. I took what little money I had at the time and I went down to the, they have like a horseshoe kind of by there in Indiana and I made a little bit and I said, you know what, I'm gonna move back out to Vegas and try to make a living at poker again. You know, I love the game of poker and I wanna promote poker, but in a way it's very quicksandish because you win and then you want more and then you want a little more and you just can't get out because it's your source of income. I, I would love to use the money that I've earned playing poker in music someday and that's a, it's an open-ended someday so far. Don't worry if it's blurry. We don't need to know. Why does it keep, it keeps keeping It's picture time for Joe DeGiorgio no, no, we we and Jennifer we Tilly. Blurry. Yeah. No, Odd thing was, it was Jennifer Tilly who actually wanted to take a picture with Joe DeGiorgio. Who would have guessed? Oh, yeah, my bad. <laughs> Gavin raising again with suited paint. We'll Smith it. makes it 300. <laughs> Oh, because I straddled. Ah, I was like, why is everybody playing so big? The part I like about folding is after you fold, no matter no matter what, how bad you, you you play during that hand, you can't make any decisions that are wrong or right, but, but your stack stays But you stable. can still lose money. That's the good thing about seven years. I know, that's, I have to defend against that last thing. <laughs> Phil sweats yeah, the yeah. entire hand. What did you say, Phil? <laughs> Once I fold, I feel comforted, com comforted knowing that I can't get hurt during the hand, except for the do seven, as Sean warned. Do 70 can't get out of that. Every hand becomes a sweat. Yeah, micro set. Especially <laughs> like five way pots. You know someone's got the do seven. Gavin Smith with down. middle pair. Phil's just rooting for 725. Uh oh. How much is that? Rover is all in. It's like about 1400. If you get showdown, you're usually good. Unless it's a very ugly board. How much are you playing? 14,000. Uh, I'm never coming on one of these things without a board again. I don't want to oh, talk about it online. I'd love to play that. I think you're going to win by a quarter. Like yeah, yeah, that that was I used to back in the day carry them, and then it just never happened, so I stopped. How do I not make that? Well, well, in the future, we'll my board is twenty. 20 I'm on the draw. Wow, what's going on with this hand? Flush draw and a straight draw That's versus two yeah. pair, yeah. one, one pair. pair. Queen jack straight. Mm. Soon to be two pair. I have faith that he's gonna make two pair. What do I need? Just buy the eight of hearts. Fourteen. Make Come on, baby. Nine right. of hearts and log it up. What? Why? 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 Ten, ten of hearts. How dare you, sir? Ten of hearts. Yeah, yeah. Ten of hearts, and then get your money back. Ten of hearts. I take umbrage to no, your no. rooting, sir. I have the nine of hearts. I want a straight. It's fifty-fifty to say. I can't get a straight flush. That would be bad. Then you I'll actually can get a straight flush. How flush? could I? What would I do? Two cards. Queen nine, eight, eight, nine. Eight. nine. All right. Queen. Come on. Three of hearts. Let the little girl oh, win. Oh, oh, I almost had it. All right. Ooh, uh, you got right. in with I the best hand. A couple hand. more dollars for the card. Yeah. I almost called the card. That's annoying. Oh, oh really? Whoa. Oh, oh, all of us. Oh. oh. Almost yeah, I was like, ooh, I hope Straight and a flush. Straight and a flush. Sir, I take great offense to your rude. I love you still, kid. I have to use my girl. You call him kid. Come on. I love that. Keep going. Keep going. Don't go anywhere. We've got more poker night action when we come back. You guys don't know it, but when Jennifer starts playing pots over two grand, I'm sweating. Closed captioning is brought to you as a public service by Poker Night in America. Thanks for coming back to Poker Night in America at Turning Stone Resort in Verona, New York. Here's the updated amount of money that everyone's got in front of them. The big winner thus far has been Jennifer Tilly, courtesy of Matt Russell and Richard Roper. Both of them have rebought and are back in the action here at Turning Stone. Breaking you buy it, Deep. It's my own phone. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so I bought it even before I broke it. We're killing Spanish 21. We're killing Spanish 21. We are. So, I mean, I play the don't stuff. I only play the don't. Oh, really? Yeah. He's not popular at the table. I don't care who. Yeah, anybody can do whatever they want. Joe. I heard oh. amazing conversations from the uh, first night we were here. Some guy's arguing with someone that roulette is the best game for players. <laughs> and then the other guy was arguing fruit wheels even better. Fruit There's so many things to bet. <laughs> <That's laughs> it was it was the most amazing <laughs> conversation. Like you would think you're making it up. Like everyone knows anything about gambling. And yeah. these two guys were arguing those two table games as the most like well, all you do is just play red black. Like you're just guaranteed to win. 
Doug Maverick re-raises to 700 with his pocket king. You can it was find awesome. it on the internet. It's, it's true. No, I only played the dogs. Well, it's like in Vegas. You ever seen a, a roulette table where you got an American yeah, one and, and a European, American. and they're next to each other, yeah. and there's more people on the American What about one. Court I don't Holmes. get it. I just want to be the guy who invented the board. Yeah. So like yeah. how much? Like roulette was a dead uh, game. Invented the board, and it became like baccarat. Everyone just loved it. More. I like Spanish Twenty One. Have you seen it here? He loves, he loves it. Uh, well, Can I'm you? with. Uh, I want to play seven. Yeah, I was beating it today. Pretty bad. Really? Yeah. I like it that you win when there's a Twenty One. Automatically, you win. You know. Frankenberger and first def act. Different variations of the 21 you win, you know, 777, seven, seven, Side eight, note, if you ever have an opportunity, uh, I know I've said this before, if you could play cards, Spanish yeah. 21 ever in your life, you have to play with Matt Russell. Okay, back to the poker, uh, Frankenberger yeah, checks. I've gambled with you both, and you have pretty high idiot status, but he dwarfs you. You know how you make uh, 10 million in, in uh, the silver markets? You give a billion to the, what were the name of those guys that <laughs> lost their shirts in the silver corner? Um, uh, Bass Brothers? No. The Bass Brothers. Back Brent. in the early the 80s. Oh, the, Hunt the, Hunt the Hunt Brothers. The Hunt Brothers, yeah. yeah. You give a billion to the Hunt Brothers, <laughs> whatever the number was, it was like, <laughs> that can go wrong, you know? <laughs> Trying to corner some commodity, they got... That was one of Steve Martin's first jokes. How do you get rich? First, you get a million dollars. First, you get a million dollars. How do you get rich? You sell all your jewelry. Hey, it's like the guy who sold all his <laughs> stuff. Or you sell somebody else's jewelry. Yeah, yeah. Sell your body. You just buy Who's Bitcoin how, how at $2 build, a coin. Who's it on? Frankenmuth? What did you say, Frankenmuth? It's, it's a Christmas uh, town in uh, Michigan. Really? Yeah. That's cool, Frankenmuth. I've been there. Frankenburger bets 2,400. Cool. <laughs> Back to Maverick. <laughs> I'm all in. Maverick's all in. Yeah. Puts the pressure back on Frankenburger, or Frankenmuth as it would be. This has become a significant plot. I like Frankenmuth. <laughs> the <laughs> he comes up with. <laughs> I came up with Jake Hiller the Killer. Did you, you know did? that, Joe? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Really? I gave her a nickname. Every time I walk into the casino, he would scream, Jay Tiller the Killer. It was like a battle cry, a rallying battle cry for me. And Frankenberger oh. will fall. Oh my God, it's oh. made me sound bad. I'm offering a buyout. No. Nope. No, it's only do seven spades, the only one it could be. It takes the bit. It takes yeah, the bit. you're right. Nice hand. Nice hand. This is a high-level tell that I picked up. I pro probably shouldn't say anything, but when you throw your chips three quarters of the table, I think it represents strength. Yep. With a five, yeah, and I'm like I like to I'm throw top. one big I'm and top. then some little stuff like that. I think it's a, that looks it's, weak, right? It's a tell if and Gavin throws like it that. back at you. If it you. makes it three quarters of the table, and then you put it back in the pot. Yeah. Deep penetration. That's the problem, problem with this one thing. big chip. It's very easy to get the big chip up front. That looks weak, doesn't it? Almost looks like you didn't mean to throw a big chip. Correct. It's got to almost look. You can take a baseball in the eye from where you're sitting. And I try and do it my, fast. My I try and do it yeah, in the bad. first three seconds. Tweet them. Because that's a week. Three that's like, why would the it. guy have just, what's going on? Suspicious. Which planet is he on right now? If a two came, Richard might have called the 1200. I think it's possible that Joe like Sartori that. might be one of the ugliest yeah. action callers of all time. Who is that? Who's Joe Sartori? The ugly guy behind you. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I didn't know your last you name, Joe. Action back to Joe DeGeorge. I want that girl who doesn't know who I am. A re-raise. A re-raise with pocket fours. I knew you were Joe. I didn't know DeGeorge you. came to play. That is evident. I remember I went into an airport somewhere that I hadn't been in a long Miami. time. Miami. Queens Miami. go and into the muck from rope. I, I saw was say Gavin already. there, and I was like, wow. Out of, I thought of all the people in the world mm -hmm. on that particular day that I would want to meet there. You were t I said you were top four. Top four, right? He's and I was so happy, airport. and then we spent like two hours hanging out, waiting. Yeah, we you might be one of the best person to run into an airport. I agree with that. It was unbelievable. Like, like, you're just going to be so much fun for three hours, and you don't want any more Gavin. I There's like a limit of Gavin you can have in a day. Well, and lucky. then he's on your flight. We went, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was lucky. We went to the same plane, the same next destination, and we played catch-up poker. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. 10 second freeze That was on the way to Arupa, wasn't it? 20 catch-up packets. So was that on the way to Arupa? I think it was. I was there. Yeah, Russell calls with yeah. his 7-8 yeah. yeah. It was fun. 
<laughs> that really was fun. <laughs> I felt like that two hours was like 18 minutes. It didn't even happen. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, well, since we're bashing people, what one poker player would you not want to run? master. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, uh, wow. That's a tough one to be. George's fours are ahead, uh, and he comes out firing. You know, 2,600. If you're like stranded in an airport for a few hours, Matt Russell, who would you poker not player? Want like, Gavin would be obviously be a really fun guy to be hanging out with. Who would be really not fun? And he snap called Mike Madison. No, 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 no. Madison. No. Although Mike's already not there. Ma Madison, uh, another, <laughs> another good candidate. Said. I don't know. <laughs> who, who did you say? Men so Joe. You said men the master. Joe. Oh, men the master. <laughs> was my, was folding pocket queens a smart move by me right there? No. Men, we folded queens. Yeah. When we come back, a roundup of the economy at this table. Poker Night in America is being brought to you by 888poker.com, where the world plays online. Thanks for coming back to Poker Night in America at Turning Stone Resort in Verona, New York. Jennifer Tilly, a $10,000 win tonight on day three on Poker Night in America. And the two people who donated most of that money to Jennifer Tilly were Matt Russell and Richard Roper. Sean Deeb, a paltry $550 profit on the night on Poker Night. For more from Poker Night in America, log on to PokerNight.com or find us on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube where you can see complete episodes and unedited live streams. Also, be sure to check out our online store for Poker Night shirts, hats, hoodies, and more. For everyone here at Poker Night in America, I'm Chris Hansen. That's pretty sick when two people get heads up in the pot with 2-7. <laughs> I yeah. really hope that, can we have like a $500 bounty? Oh Someone gets 2-7 to fold, they have 2-7. Well, Maybe how thousand. are you going to prove it? I mean, well, like they're going to fold like, I right, do 7, like show it. Can you lose to do 7? That's pretty brutal. I guess the no, person who folds show. should never show it. No, yeah, I don't that agree to those terms. One thing is enough. I'm already losing 800 on this do 7 thing. Poker Night is brought to you by 888 Poker, where the world plays online.